Is America an exceptional nation? Do you have friends who say it isn't? If you want to fully understand the roots of American exceptionalism, how it is being threatened, and what you can do about it, pick up my free ebook, Understanding American Exceptionalism, what it is, how it came to be, and why it's fading, at understandingamericabook.com. Link below in the description. When people dream about environmentally friendly future energy sources, the increased use of wind power invariably comes up. When you look at it with an uncritical eye, it makes sense. Wind is free. Why not generate power using it? The carbon emissions from a wind turbine are basically zero, so it must be more environmentally friendly than fossil fuels, right? Wrong. Far from being an environmental plus, in reality, wind power actually works against the environmental goals that its advocates claim. Here is why. The first problem with wind power is known as the diluteness problem. Unlike fossil fuels, the wind is not concentrated. This means you need to use much more materials per energy unit produced. For wind, this can include high performance compounds for turbine blades, rare earth metals to create the magnets, as well as all the steel and concrete needed to build thousands of structures as tall as skyscrapers. This chart shows how much steel and iron is needed to produce equivalent amounts of energy using wind, coal, and natural gas. In terms of materials used, which method looks like it comes with a higher environmental cost to you? The second problem is far larger though, and that is the intermittency problem. The wind does not blow consistently, so any power system that uses wind energy has to take this into account. Ideally, wind power would make use of a large-scale, inexpensive storage system, but unfortunately, no such system exists. This is why, in the entire world, there is not one real or proposed independent freestanding wind power plant. All of them require backup systems, which is typically in the form of coal. This is why Germany, often touted as the world leader in renewables, has not cut its carbon emissions despite massive investments in wind and solar. The chart below illustrates the problem that Germany has encountered. Notice on the bottom how unreliable the energy production is from wind and solar. What makes up the difference are old-fashioned coal plants, because only old-fashioned coal plants can be started up relatively quickly to meet demand when the unreliables of wind and solar fail. This results in much higher carbon emissions. Therefore, if your goal is to cut carbon emissions, unreliable energy sources such as wind and solar simply don't help you. What is even worse is that the illusionary promise of wind power prevents the use of much more efficient and environmentally friendly power systems such as combined cycle power plants from being built. A combined cycle power plant is an extremely sophisticated power system that is powered by natural gas. Natural gas produces about half of the carbon emissions that coal plants do. In a combined cycle power plant, the gas-powered turbine initially creates electricity, but it also generates a lot of heat. That heat is then used by a steam generator to generate even more electricity. Combined cycle power plants could drastically cut carbon emissions, but they are not being built as governments, such as the UK and Germany, are instead pouring taxpayer dollars into the unreliable energy sources of solar and wind. In order for an energy source to be cheap, plentiful, and environmentally friendly, every step in the process to produce that energy must be cheap, plentiful, and environmentally friendly. For example, it is technically possible to extract oil from hazelnuts. This could be viewed as renewable, as hazelnuts get their energy from the sun. However, the high cost of hazelnuts demonstrates the high environmental costs in producing them. For example, they can only be grown on a limited land base, which requires a unique combination of rainfall and irrigation, not to mention a mild summer climate and fertile soil. Hazelnuts require special machines to grow, harvest, and then transform them into energy. All of this takes extensive environmental inputs in the form of manpower, machines, and energy and this is reflected in the price. This is why hazelnuts are grown as a luxury food item 
and not as a fuel. The high cost associated with wind power is in fact indicative of the high environmental costs of using such unreliable power systems. The attempts by governments to make wind power a major part of the electrical grid is an environmental disaster. As Germany demonstrates, the use of wind power does not reduce carbon emissions. What's worse is that the use of wind power discourages the building of new, reliable, low-carbon power plants such as combined cycle power plants and encourages the use of old coal plants. If your goal is to be environmentally friendly with a low-carbon future, wind power is not part of the solution. In fact, it's part of the problem. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to press the little button as well to be notified when new videos are available. If you would like to support my channel, there are two ways to do it. One way is to support me on my Patreon account at patreon.com Tocqueville. Patreon allows people to support their favorite content creators directly. Even a dollar a month helps me out a lot and will allow me to create more and better content. The second way is to purchase some of my books and comics from Amazon. I've actually created a number of short stories and comics under the name Funny Comics, loosely based on the game Minecraft. Some of my most popular titles are my movie Minecraft parody comics. More recently, however, I have started to create comics and short stories that will hopefully educate as well as entertain. My first two titles feature George Washington and Ronald Reagan as characters. With your support, I hope to make more in the future, and all of these titles are free with Kindle Unlimited. Links for both options are below in the description. Thank you in advance for any support you can give.